Every time the gyro moves. Isn't that cool? guys it is so good to see y'all i missed you guys so an idiot took out the internet box down the street and my neighborhood has been without internet for like the last two days uh last time i talked to you guys i was trying to build a battery style discharger using light bulbs the problem was i used the wrong type of light bulb you can see here this is a bayonet style light bulb means that it has a positive and a, con and a negative connection at the bottom of the bulb well put a little shrink wrap on it check this out look at that i got it to work now what i would like to do is get a couple more of these bulbs so i can duplicate it and have more than one bulb working on a battery Servo came today as well for the grasshopper. Check it out. It's a 20 kilogram. 20 kilograms. I need 20 kilograms of the blue stuff, please. Yeah, it's a server. Server. Servo. It goes with the blue. You know, the truck has like anodized blue and a couple spots. I figure we'd keep up with the blue and put a, uh, you know, it's just a regular servo you know you really don't need too much for this little thing which that's fine uh here is our 12 turn motor 550 can it's a brush stock 12 turn motor and there's the esc that comes with it nothing too special i think it's a 60 amp yeah 60 amp esc that should be plenty for this little car man you know, it, it's hard enough to keep the car stable. These things are so light that they have a tendency to kind of do this motion when you get them up to speed. Which brings me to my next awesome thing. The reason why you guys clicked on this video. This is a gyro. Yeah, I know, right? A gyro. You're sitting here thinking, a gyro? Those, those go in helicopters and planes and stuff. Nope, not this one. This is actually meant for your RC car. This is an RC car gyro. It's GYC 300. See, it says gyro for your RC car. It's by a company called E-Tech. Um, basically, what this does is you hook it to your steering servo, and then this gets hooked to the um, ESC. Or no, it gets hooked to your receiver. Yeah, will send a signal to the servo to correct it. So if the car, let's say the car is going do 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 do, and it gets sideways on it's like this, that gyro in there will send a signal to the servo to auto correct the tires to get it to sit back down. So basically, you're keeping the car as stable as possible. Without the gyro, what happens is you'll get this motion. Well, we're going to use the gyro so that way the car will stay planted at all times. Isn't that just the coolest little thing? And it was only like 15 bucks, bought it on eBay. Uh, let's see here, what else came for us that we need? Oh yes, the 18 tooth pinion gear that we need gotta have that 18 tooth pinion by to my itself and then here is our motor mount bracket this is the one that we need to run a big motor like this the stock motors that fit in these things are real little so you need the adapter kit to go with it so that is what's going on guys 
Yeah. I guess really all there is to do is to put the electronics in the car. Every time the gyro moves, isn't that cool? And then once you get it mounted properly, you won't have this problem like what I'm showing you. It'll actually work. That's so cool to see this gyro work. We're going to take a small little break from doing the grasshopper thing, mainly because I'm waiting for UPS to drop off some parts. Hopefully they'll drop them off today, if not, maybe tomorrow. But this is how I'm going to do the new GoPro, all right? What it is, it's a handlebar. It's made for like a, like a bike, and I stuck it between those two support brackets and then squeezed it down, and then now I'm gonna put the camera here. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> servo is so hot to the touch you can't touch it dude that ooh, that's hot oh yeah wow wow that's hot damn i cannot believe how hot that is well uh look at this the steering itself is kind of stiff and i think what happened is is the steering being so stiff it burnt the servo um, and that's why we got the magic, you know, smoke show. God, I can't believe how hot that servo is. Wow. It's shot. All right, back to Grasshopper. And now it is installed. You can see the gear in there touching the motor or the main transmission. Good deal. Got a motor installed. What next? Nothing too uh, spiffy about the controller here. Really, it's just a standard two channel radio. Wow, this thing is extremely light. It almost feels super cheap. It was, it was only like 40 bucks for this. But you lift that up and it has the servo and the throttles and all the different trims. It's all right, that's all we need. We just need something very basic and standard to get us through. And now we have a receiver so we can go ahead and figure out where we want to put our receiver at. I didn't get the steering servo horn for the... Dang, that didn't arrive yet. All right, well, so this is kind of a cool idea, this light bulb thing. We're going to use this to discharge batteries, uh, but yeah, different story. Okay, so I did manage to get the throttle 
to bind. So we're getting getting a little throttle spin to it. That's good. All right, good deal. It just sucks. I don't have the the steer the steering servo that I need to go on this thing. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh, check that out. The gyro's working. It knows that I'm messing with the cert with the servo. So every time I move it, it moves it. That's crazy feeling. Oh yeah, cause the ESC sits right in there. So that's gonna allow plenty of air in and cool that. My only thing is, is I don't want a bunch of garbage and trash going inside there too. So what I'm thinking is I have this plastic like net. I'm gonna cut out what I need and then super glue it in on the inside here. So that way I have a net Put it in the screen for it. I was thinking about maybe doing that little spot right there too as well. But yeah, I like the the screen on it. That definitely makes it look like a buggy. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so this is where we are right now. A lot of the parts, our new charger, and our computer fans and some other things finally showed up steering and stuff we haven't got the little servo saver that we need for the servo just yet and we just now got the controller bind it and we now have working throttle and gas or brake so that works that's a good one that's a good place to stop putting electronics in um, yeah good place to stop we'll pick it up next time guys i really just kind of wanted to show you all this look at that thing man it is bugging you would think that it had a glitch or something but no it's not it's this gyro